here at Cary Park in Seattle, Washington. We've been extensively hunting chocolate milk through the Pacific Northwest. Uh, I've been through Washington certainly before and we're back. So I think I've had, I think I've had every chocolate milk that Washington has to offer. We're not talking all the chocolate milk that's necessarily available in Washington, but stuff that comes from Washington. And we've got the top 10 here. We're gonna go in descending order. So the 10th best. Number 10. Darigold 1%. So Darigold is available almost nationwide. In heck, we even saw it in the Philippines. It's based in Seattle and you definitely see, it is kind of the de facto chocolate milk in the Pacific Northwest. You'll see it everywhere, so it's very available. Number nine. Smith Brothers Farms. This is reduced fat, it's 2%. Hey, we're here at Smith Brothers Farms in Kent, Washington, it's a little bit south of Seattle, even south of SeaTac. I'm gonna try not to be bitter. We've just spent over five hours in the car coming down from Vancouver. We had a bunch of bull at the border with a U-Haul getting stuck between the uh, the bay that we were in and then a couple of dudes getting cuffed and stuffed and hauled out with armed guards. So, and then we got out with the Black Friday outlet mall traffic. So it's been kind of a disaster getting down here, but we did get here in time on a Friday after Thanksgiving, they were open. Courtney helped us out. Uh, we're able to buy some chocolate milk, even though this is mostly a delivery service. So, how is the vaunted Smith Brothers chocolate milk? Uh, it's very drinkable. It's smooth. It's well balanced, uh, but it doesn't really take any chances, good or bad. Yep. You do get a little bit of the carton taste. I believe it only comes in a carton there, and there is a fat-free version too, which, you know, fat-free anything is not going to crack the top ten unless there's very few. It won't beat you over the head, uh, but it does taste nice, and it does drink very well. It's very drinkable. Number eight. Old, old. old fashioned. Now, I do, I'm not here, I don't have an agenda. I'm not here to call anybody out. But in the back, it says, a timeless treat. Once upon a time, chocolate milk was made the old fashioned way. Real cocoa and sugar were mixed with fresh local milk. Actually, that's how we make it every day. So here's to doing things the old fashioned way today, yesterday, and every day. Ingredients milk. Fine. Liquid sucrose, sugar and water, okay. Corn syrup, didn't hear that mentioned earlier. Whey, fine, milk product. Cocoa processed with alkali, fine. Mono and diglycerides, guar gum, polysorbate 80. I have had a lot of chocolate milks, I very rarely see polysorbate 80. Carrageenan, vitamin D3, not exactly the three ingredient sort of thing they want to make it out to be. Now, how's it taste? Not bad, this is the full fat version, but it is super sweet. See, a lot of people tend to like this and it is better than the 1%, but for whole chocolate milk, you can do a lot better than this. It does look cool though, I, I will admit, I, it does look pretty classy. Number seven. Edeline Dairy. Now this is one of the four from up in Linden, Washington, which is very northwest Washington in Whatcom County, just across the border from Canada. The first time I had this stuff, it wasn't good. It was syrupy, and I stand by that. This formulation is a little bit different, and it is quite nice. It, it's, a, it's a whole chocolate milk, and it's less sweet than you'd expect, and more focus on cocoa, which uh, is a nice, a nice change from your kind of typical half gallon sort of chocolate milk that you get. And Adeline's known around here for their ice cream shops as well, which I haven't had, but chocolate milk's pretty good. Number six. Grace Harbor Farms. Now this is organic. It's from Custer, Washington, which again is in Whatcom County. It's just west of Linden, closer to the five and closer to the Pacific Ocean. This stuff has a ton of potential. Uh, that is, if you can get the cream to mix in. I had trouble with the first time I did it. It wouldn't mix in, it was very uh, chunky. It didn't mix in all the way, there's plenty of chunks, uh, and I shook it up until my arm pretty much gave out. But it's got those dusty, kind of creamy bubbles that are a hallmark of legitimate, decent fat content. And uh, so I'm super excited to try this stuff from Grace Harbor Farms, even though I'm gonna have to swallow some of those little cream bits, boy, the things I'm willing to do. 
probably like it. Will this one mix in better? I don't know. Oh, look at that. It's trying to come out. <laughs> it's plugged. See, you got a good shot of that. Mm. <laughs> oh God, it's like eating butter. It is super chocolate and it tastes great. It has a ton of potential, absolute ton of potential. And even without that cream mixing in, it's still absolutely delicious. It's just, you're gonna need a blender. You're gonna need some sort of mechanical means to get that to incorporate. I don't have that with me. Uh, I shook till my arm gave out earlier and still had smaller chunks. It did pour out, but it had smaller chunks. And it, it just wasn't that potable. You had to chew little chunks of butter as you drank it. Number five. Twin Brook Creamery. Tell me that's not an attractive looking bottle. It is. Simple, classy, love it. This also is from Linden, Washington. Did have Twin Brook when we were in Portland. They do distribute to Oregon. It's good, it's creamy. It, it, the main flavor here for me is sweet and then chocolate. So it reminds me actually of Top of the Morn Farms uh, from California. Top of the Morn Farms. It's sweet first, creamy second, malty third, sweet. Oh, hell. Super drinkable. It is lovely, but for me, it's a little bit more sweet, and I, I would prefer a little more, more chocolate or cream taste or even malt. Number four. This stuff's good. My Shan Dairy. And this, again, from Linden, Washington. These are all Guernsey cows, which I think 90% of Guernsey cows produce A2 milk. So it's that uh, milk with a, a different sort of a more digestible protein for humans. The cream really does a great job of delivering the cocoa. It distributes it evenly across the tongue and it really sustains the flavor. So uh, I've been savoring this stuff quite a bit and I've been having a little bit of it every day. It's really good stuff. Well done, my shame. Out of the top three. Number three. Number three, and this is might be a little bit of a surprise. Fresh Breeze Organic. Once again, from Linden. Now this stuff is reduced fat, it's 2%. It might be the best 2% chocolate milk that exists in the world today, at least the best that I've had. Shout out to Coco Metro, which is also 2%, but that's more of a, it's almost in a different category. Again, I do this, you could say for a living, I would not know that this was 2%, and I still have a hard time believing it. It's a, it's a feat of science or whatever it is of agriculture. This stuff is absolutely delicious. It's got a nice salty quality, which really, again, I think amplifies the cream, which makes it deceptively creamy for 2%. If these guys made a whole chocolate milk, it would probably be like an 11. This is brilliant. It even looks like whole chocolate milk. It's got the creamy bubbles, I can't say enough about this stuff. This is the third container I've had of it, and both been bigger than this. It's awesome. Number two. Best chocolate milk in Washington. Pure Iron Dairy. Okay. I've had this before. We had it in uh, Spokane. It's available out there. This is from Othello, Washington, which is kind of more in the middle of the state. If you drew a line between Yakima and Spokane on that diagonal somewhere, pretty much due north of the Tri-Cities, Richland, Pasco, and Kennewick. For you, uh, those familiar with Washington geography. Oh. Yes! It's, it's thinner, but super creamy, and it's got a really strong flavor. And part of the flavor is like the, the grass-fed cream flavor, and the other part is more of a, almost like a, a caramel-type chocolate flavor, which I don't usually prefer, but as it is mixed up in here, it's outstanding. This also comes in a glass bottle. I haven't seen it in a glass bottle in Seattle. Doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Definitely seek this stuff out. It's outstanding. Alright, last 
and obviously not least. Number one. Just might have picked up the coolest thing that I've seen yet in 1300 chocolate milks. We've got single origin chocolate milk from Bellflower Chocolate Company. It pains me that I didn't get two of these so I could drink it uh, on the spot and review it. I gotta take it back and do the pictures and review it before I drink it. I think this is probably the last chocolate milk in Washington that I've yet to get, and it might be the most exciting. I don't wanna put the cart before the horse. This stuff happens to come from Tanzania. Uh, I believe they probably source cocoa from all over the world. This manifestation of it is particularly good. It's the only one I've had, but it's outstanding. Definitely gotta shake it up. Out. Look at that. Does that look delicious or what? I swear there's little nibs of cocoa in there too. It's nostril flaring, nipple hardening sort of a cocoa experience that if you haven't had that before, I recommend you try it. Go to bellflowerchocolate.com. It sounds like an ad, uh, but you can buy it there. I think the way they serve it is with even more of a chocolate crumble on top, which I feel like might be gilding the lily on its own. It's an absolute desserty treat, which I think 32 ounces might be a little bit excessive. You could have this stuff in a shot glass and just have a little bit of it. It's satisfying. It stays with the flavor, stays with you for a long time, and it's a flavor that doesn't deteriorate uh, with time. It gets my highest recommendation for chocolate milk. And the caveat is. They don't have a dairy farm. They source the chocolate and they make the, the concoction that mixes with the milk. They get milk from Linden and they have to repasteurize it and then they mix up this, uh, this batch for you. And you know, it, it was, it's absolutely brilliant stuff. Um, shout out to the folks at Bellflower. Calling this the best chocolate milk in Washington State. And Washington State is, yeah, it was, it's known for apples. It's known for um, I don't know, mooses maybe Starbucks, but uh, it's definitely super underrated as a chocolate milk scene. You don't think of it as a dairy state. You might think, you know, which, which states have the best chocolate milk? You might think, oh, Wisconsin, uh, Iowa, Pennsylvania, for those in the know, but Washington is not one of those states that you'd necessarily file in. But here are 10 very good chocolate milks, especially like the top six or so are outstanding so if you're up in the pacific northwest go find some of this stuff hit up the website and if there's any that you know of that i didn't mention write me a note below or send me an email there's always the possibility of something that i didn't find something i want to be complete about it um so yeah cheers to washington state again i do this you can say for a living Good stuff. Well done, Smith Brothers Farms. And thanks again to Courtney and the people who fielded my email at Smith Brothers. We were able to come down here, make the transaction, um, and get it done. Should I talk about the Missouri thing? Okay, so back in May, we're doing the chocolate milk run through Missouri. We're in St. Joseph, Missouri, which is a little ways north of Kansas City on 29, and it happened to go to Starbucks, and the barista at Starbucks had recently moved from Seattle. Kind of told her the whole deal because we had a bunch of chocolate milk, and she said, oh, you need to have Smith Brothers Farms in, in Seattle. And I was like, okay, well, it was on my list. I had seen it on Twitter. So this comes as a personal recommendation. I don't remember her name, the barista in St. Joseph, Missouri. The Cosentino's Price Chopper in St. Joseph. It's actually a really nice store. Um, so finally got it. I've uh, been looking forward to it for a while. And uh, yeah, I mean, it does drink nicely and whatever. <laughs> but this very well could be the best chocolate milk in the state of Washington. And that's saying something because um, from a chocolate milk standpoint, Washington is highly underrated. So, uh, good on you, Bellflower. Thanks again for meeting up with us, and I can't wait to try it.